What's up everyone, it's At Home Dude, another week, another episode. If you're new here, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about the top five periods of regression. And when we talk about regression, we're really just saying that they backslid into something they used to do. So check it out after this. So the point of me doing this video is just to let you know what's coming in the future so that you don't rip all your hair out like I did, maybe just a little bit, right? <laughs> all right, so starting with number five, we're gonna talk about walking back to crawling. So sometimes what happens is your child starts to walk and they like to walk and grab things and everything, but eventually at some point they go back to crawling sometimes. We only experienced this with one of our children and it was our oldest child because he saw his younger brother crawling. It wasn't really a big deal. He didn't do it in public. It was mainly just at home while they were playing and stuff and he would crawl around. It only lasted a couple of weeks and then he was back to walking around all the time. So no big deal there. All right, so number four is gonna be going potty and having accidents. What you'll see is they will learn the potty thing and then once they feel secure in it and they know what they're doing, they might wait till the last moment to tell you they have to go potty, right? And that will lead to having accidents again. And as a parent, that can be very frustrating because then your kid is a mess and you have to clean him up, get rid of the clothes, get some new clothes. And if it's in public, it's a mess. For us, we kind of had to live with the fact that he was telling us at the last moment and I had to grab him and run to the restroom wherever it was at and try to hope that we make it, you know? A good thing that we did was we packed the potty in the car if we were gonna be driving for a long period of time you also can bring clothes wherever you go so that at the very least you have a backup pair of pants or whatever it is so that if they have an accident you're somewhat ready for it all right going to number three is going from talking back to whining it really drives me crazy because I don't know what they need or want they whine and I get really frustrated and the situation just spirals downhill Often what I'm telling them over and over again is use your words, use your words, but just know that it's gonna happen and hopefully it can drive you a little bit less crazy. All right, number two is gonna be from being honest to telling lies or manipulation. I kind of grouped that together. This is really has a lot to do from what I can tell from my kids with the terrible twos. So it's a stage of independence and from there on out, you can't control your kids anymore. But, <laughs> but usually sometimes what they'll do is try to either lie or kind of flub the truth to get whatever it is they want. If mommy says no, then I'll ask daddy. Or I'm getting in trouble, I'll say my stomach hurts or I feel sick so that I don't get in trouble. All right, number one is eating anything to being a picky eater. Everyone deals with this. Um, I hear about it a lot in groups and stuff. And there are many things that you can do to try to get them to eat healthy foods. But at around one year old for both of my children, they would eat like yeah. anything and really kind of came into their own and they're experiencing things and they love to eat. And then when they get one and a half to two years old, that's when they start to get picky and they get back into that two year old mind where they know that they can make their own decision. They don't want to eat broccoli. They don't want to eat spinach. If your child isn't like this, oh man, you're so lucky. But just try to explore and figure out some healthy things that they might like. I like to do cooking and bring them along and they watch and they get to taste things and that allows me to see what they like and dislike in terms of tastes. Also, you can give them meals where they have a couple safe foods and they have a new food to try. My youngest really doesn't like eating any vegetables, so I make him smoothies and I made a video about it and it really helps get some more healthier items into his diet. Those are different things that you can do to try to incorporate things for picky eaters, but just know everyone deals with it. You're gonna have to deal with it and it sucks. My kids are only two and three years old, so you may see other regressions. If you do see them, hit me in the comments and let me know which ones I missed, um, cause my kids are young. All right, so thank you for watching today. We went through the top five periods of regression. Once again, hit the subscribe and like if you liked the video and uh, thanks for showing me love. Have a nice one. Out. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada boom, bada boom. Hey, yeah, yeah. What happened? You got a lot of... A lot of donuts that missed your mouth, man.
got up there and got his drink. Donut on his eyelash.